Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price is now under investigation following the truly astonishing reports this week that he used hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars to routinely take private charter jets. Politico first reported on Tuesday that Price chartered five private flights last week over three days, including a 30-seat jet that cost $25,000 to fly him from Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia. Those are just 135 miles apart. But then last night, another political report finding Secretary Price had traveled by private plane at least 24 times since May, at a price tag in total exceeding $300,000. And that's in just four months. Now, seeking to justify the costs, an HHS spokesperson told The Washington Post today, this is Secretary Price getting outside of D.C., making sure he's connected with the real American people. An eight-year HHS veteran who left in January tweeting today, as former director of scheduling at HHS during Obama admin, I can confirm this is a crazy departure from precedent. And now we'll see if the inspector general for HHS agrees. Their office telling NBC Today, OIG is conducting a review of Secretary Price's federal travel using chartered aircraft. The review focuses on whether the travel complied with federal travel regulations, but may encompass other issues related to the travel. We take this matter very seriously, and when questions arose about potentially inappropriate travel, we immediately began assessing the issue. I can confirm that work is underway and will be completed as soon as possible. I'm joined now by one of the political reporters who broke this remarkable story, Dan Diamond. The Democrats cited his reporting when they requested an investigation from the OIG. Dan, um, fantastic reporting. So you've got, a new, you've got a new scoop, and I want to sort of set it up with this, which is that the, the, the spokesperson for HHS basically said, look, uh, here's why we started doing these tra charter flights. That, the pr that, that Price had a commercial flight that was canceled, and he missed a very important event. Wasting four hours in an airport and having the secretary cancel his event is not a good use of taxpayer money. That's Charmaine Yost. Assistant Secretary of Public Affairs, you've got a scoop tonight on what actually happened that time that prompted this. What, what happened? Well, Chris, the story that we were told was that he had an important meeting somewhere around the country. They wouldn't get any more specific with us or with The Washington Post. But what I found out digging in, that meeting was in California at a Ritz-Carlton, one of the nicest Ritzes in the country in Laguna Beach. And it was an industry conference with several hundred CEOs, investors, the kind of confab that we have here in D.C. or in New York City, too. And the reason the flight didn't get off the ground wasn't because of any normal commercial airline problem. It's because of a massive storm. There were tornadoes that had touched down all over the region. Charter jets weren't taking off. Commercial jets weren't taking off. So it's when you look a little bit closer, it's another justification that really doesn't hold up. I mean, it's, I just want to be clear. It's an industry confab. Uh, the, first of all, they're talking about he's getting out of D.C. to talk to real Americans. These are industry CEOs. I mean, obviously, this is important. It's the industry that he sort of oversees. So, They're Americans, but it's in a Ritz too. Yeah. Right. Yes, exactly. It's a Ritz-Carlton in Laguna Beach. And the commercial, I mean, it just also strikes me that it's a little bit of a tough sell to say, I need to take charter jets because sometimes commercial jet flights get canceled. Like, that presumably has been true for every other HHS secretary and, you know, everyone else who takes commercial air. That's right. We talked to the staff for Secretary Burwell, Secretary Sebelius, the last two administrators under President Obama. So between eight years of their time in office, they were only able to identify one charter flight when Secretary Sebelius was in Alaska and trying to get to a rural village. And as you noted, Chris, there have been at least 24 flights that Price has taken since May alone. And that, that is the floor, at least 24. Yeah, what, why do you say at least 24? I mean, do, does that mean that we don't actually know the full total yet? It means that we're in the middle of our reporting, and I don't want to step on any stories that might be coming. Okay. Um, one of the one of the, one of the, the dazzling details here is that um, uh, in June, this, I'm quoting your reporting here. In June, Price spoke at a Physicians Association conference in San Diego, where he vowed to ring out wasteful spending in the government's healthcare programs. Getting value for spending is incredibly important, he said. Price took a private plane to get to that meeting where he said that, which was one stop on a five-state sprint of charter travel that cost $50,000. Um, have they responded to you about how they square this sort of message with this uh, expenditure? Well, the message that we have in our reporting is basically the message that we've heard from them, Chris. We first brought the story to them on Monday. It took them over 24 hours to decide what they wanted to say in response to us. And the statement has been pretty consistent throughout. First that Tom Price needs these charter jets because of hurricane 
uh, emergency travel or other public health emergencies. I'm not sure an industry conference in San Diego or in Aspen, Colorado, or even an opioids announcement in Philadelphia is a public health emergency that's urgent, requires a charter jet. The story has now evolved to at one point, Price missed a, a commercial jet, and that's why he needs the charter flights. I think tonight's story gets into why that also doesn't hold a lot of water. All right. Dan Diamond, who's really been doing excellent reporting, you and your colleague there at Politico, thank you for joining me. And my colleague, Rachna Pradhan, too. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.